Hi folks, it's Nick here. We're on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you are in the world, and we're reviewing a rugby game. Yes, the first time we've ever reviewed a rugby game, I think. This one is Rugby World Cup 95, published by EA Electronic Arts in 1994. It was their first attempt at a rugby style simulation, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. We're going to go into a friendly England versus Ireland, so Ireland are probably going to win. It's all in isometric. The game gives you several different modes. Friendly, what we're doing. World Cup, World Cup 95, League. Uh, there's 20 teams there to uh, face and all have fictional names. There's no licensing on the actual names at least. It uses the same engine I think as uh, the FIFA games but it's got rugby rules instead. So we're tossing the coin, see what um, what choice we have of going up or down the pitch first of all. I think Ireland have won. Right now traditional rugby rules, I watch a bit of rugby but I'm not too into it. That controls the power of the kick by us and it's gone there. Right so you need to score more tries by running the ball over the line than the other team. If you're not into rugby, I'd never watch rugby. If you're from a different country that don't play rugby, you'll find it a little bit confusing. So it's like American football, but without all the uh, the padding and armour. Right, now I'm running around here. I'm using all the buttons. So there's pass, kick, I think, and tackle. Uh, there'll be rugby scrums as well. So I'm a little bit bewildered, but I'm going to try and stop the green ones uh, from uh, getting a try. Uh, getting it over the line or a touchdown if you want to call it that, but it isn't called a touchdown. And I'm the white ones going, uh, yes, uh, your direction, down the screen. So go, go, go. This isn't about expert gameplay, it's about finding out how you got on the game on the first or second go. With enough there to want to play it again. Now, there wasn't many rugby games to choose from back in the day. I think this one might have also come out on the Amiga, so I might have a look at that at some point. Time's ticking up in the... Whoa, I'm making a bit of a middle of this. Time's taking up in the top uh, left there. I think it's four minutes each half, so you know how long this video is going to last. Yeah, so friendly's really about practicing to try and get your skills. When you think you're good enough, go into the World Cup. World Cup is just a random um, uh, event. Uh, World Cup 95 is based on the groups from the World Cup in 1995. What I should have done in hindsight, because I'm an income pool, is picked a team that hardly ever plays rugby, like Kathmandu. Is that a country? I think it's a place. Or, or someone like that. It would be a lesser team. But Ireland are pretty good. Um, but uh, yes, go on England. Unless you're from Ireland, then you can cheer Ireland. You probably might win. You control the player nearest the ball, but you can, uh, by pressing the button, you, you can alternate that. It's sort of up. Oh, they've scored a try. It's for up to four players, and um, you can control an individual player on the pitch, sometimes in the same team. Uh, there or different ones. They've got a try. There's a bit of a fan pair. So it's been well put together, but as I say, I'm a little bit bewildered. Now, if you like your Mega Drive and Genesis type stuff, they've got a conversion now they'll probably get. If you like Mega Drive Genesis stuff, we've viewed quite a lot of those. So if you were coming up to 200 a bit of time recording, so maybe not a, a great deal compared to other stuff, but quite a few anyway. 7 0. If you want to see those, click on my username, takes you to the channel page, and then, um, yes. Uh, you click on the playlist and then Mega Drive will be there along with a load of other stuff. Rugby is in a place in England, uh, but I don't think it was invented there. Rugby was invented when some person playing football picked up the ball and run with it. And never thought, that's a jolly good idea. Let's make the ball an odd shape to make it difficult for them, I think. I, don't, I wasn't there. I'm paraphrasing. It's a rugby simulation. A simulation mode and arcade mode uh, there if you want. I suppose arcade mode might be slightly easier. But don't expect real players' names. They're all fictional. If you're a fictional player, then comment on below. What is your name? No rude stuff, though. This is a PG channel. Big Nose. Ricky Big Nose. That'd be a good rugby player's name. The grass is green, as you would expect. It's been well cut here. The lines are there. If you need to get the ball uh, over the line, pass it. What I'm trying to do, and having no, no luck at all, is uh, trying to get the ball first of all, and then pass it down the line of players waiting in a row. Uh, they don't seem to be, be doing it for me there. And, uh, and then running over the line. There's probably tactics to play in this game, which I do not know. I seem to remember the Amiga version being easier if it was indeed this particular game. We'll have to look at that at some stage. So, there's lineouts, there's rugby scrums, there's rucks, there's tackling, uh, there's all the sort of stuff you'd expect from a rugby game. If you're a rugby fan, I think you would have liked this if you knew the final rules of the game, which basically I can watch rugby, but I'm guessing little bits here and there. But like American football as well. We haven't reviewed any American football games. The nearest one we have reviewed to it, which is nothing like American football, is Speedball 2, the futuristic cyberpunk sort of, uh, you know, bash-em-up fighting uh, football type game. 
Oh man, took a crunch there. Sounds good. The atmosphere, you can, you can see the FIFA engine's involvement here. Animations are good. I do feel like I'm in a game of rugby. At school, whenever I got the ball in rugby, because I was a slight fellow, as I am now, uh, getting the ball in rugby is just an excuse for everyone to beat you up. So as soon as I got past the ball, that was a disaster. If you run with the thing, I would have booted it out of play. Just get rid of it as quickly as you can. And that's why I never went into international rugby. Yeah. And also, it's always very muddy. Pitches got muddier back back then. Bit of water, the whole thing flooded. There seems to be better um, drainage in these sort of places now. There's a line out. Normally in the line out, you'd pick up someone and raise them in the air as high as you can to do a high ball. Hasn't worked in my case. That red arrow is my nearest player, so they're off the screen. All the other uh, players during that time are controlled by the computer, so it might be a good idea to get success if I, I control as little amount of people as possible. But you're always going to control the person with the ball, unless it's the other team. Here he goes on his purple disc. 7 0, remember? Now, the, uh, the half is already over four minutes. In rugby, the time only ends when the ball goes dead or out of play for a try album so we're just going to keep playing forever in theory it could go on for 62 years uh, this review won't be 62 years long i hope but anyway you never know you never know if you're watching these live as they go up it's a sunday if you're playing rugby while watching this on your phone and comment below they're going to score again the mighty island here long oh dear oh there he goes that's another try it's 14 years or whatever did he score the the, the uh, touchdown last not touchdown try last time and waited then there's rugby union and rugby league they're two tips from types of rugby oh that's over and that'd be the end of the first half and we're being absolutely thrashed scored it looks like dizzy from egghead fame dizzy that's the end of the first half Oh dear, it's a good one to good one to it. Right. England nil, Ireland fourteen. Oh man, what's the score going to be at the end of this? I need to. What I need to do is more kicking, find more space, and more passing. Three buttons. If you don't uh, count left, right, forward, and all that sort of stuff. But I'm not getting the hang of it. Right, all my men are running around like headless chickens. Look, that didn't last very long, did it? It's on me. I got to just kick it, kick it into touch, get the line out, or so just boot it, boot it, big nose. It's rugby, everyone. We're rugby in all the way. Line out to be taken by Clarkey. Here we go. Let's try and intercept it. Which we don't. None of our men jump, which is an unusual tactic. And that's what we need to do in there. A big long pass along the pitch. He's cutting down, making lots of mileage. Kick him. Stop him. I wonder if it's illegal in rugby to use a forklift truck or an elephant. You dress up the elephant as a player. Yeah. I don't think it would work, would it? They'd probably do drop-ins on the pitch and that get get to find that way. If you are an elephant dressed up as a rugby player and getting on way with rages playing for some team, then comment in the comment section below. Rugby elephant. Not from rugby, of course. Mm, he probably wears a false moustache or something. He's got a big nose there, player. He's massive. And he's got grey skin. Don't worry about that. That's just that's just uh, Kenneth. Right, let's go. The grass is not growing at all. Not in this game. So remember, the half goes up to four minutes. This is the second half uh, until it ticks over four minutes or goes out of play. That's it. We're kicking the other way this time. We haven't noticed. Boot it. Well, at least I kicked it up in the air, but not a great little distance. Rugby fans tend to be uh, a finer breed than football fans. You don't get too much uh, football hooli well rugby hooliganism. And also as well is the fans seem to mix with each other. You don't have a secluded one end each each way. Yeah, rugby rise. I think all the fighting goes on on the pitch, I suppose. So what can we say about this game as I struggle with it? Uh, it's one to be perfected. One people that know the final rules of rugby. Uh, people that didn't like football in particular are more rugby fans. They can have a bit of a, a go of this. Uh, it's well represented. Animations are good. Uh, you need your tactics passing the ball around. Uh, atmosphere is there. We've got the World Cup as well. So, you know, you can get... Oh, they've scored again. So you get quite a bit of play uh, of this. But what I would recommend is, is pick, pick uh, the best teams against the worst teams and friendly, first of all, to get your skills. Uh, like football games as well. Don't worry at the start if you're getting thrashed every time and not scoring whatsoever. This is Newbie Newbie played by me. 
and I'm probably not going to score any points. But as soon as you scored once, then you sort of like get the tactics of what you need to do. You probably can exploit that over and over again. And that's where the addictive news comes. I expect to be quite... Oh, I've missed a conversion. I expect this gets quite exciting in two players, and as I mentioned before, four players. So it's a good game overall. It's EA's first attempt. What other attempts did they have? I do not know at the moment. So those people that told me to review a rugby game, here it is. Stop the ball there. Mm. I thought I was going to do a big kick there. I thought I hit the sweet spot. You press the uh, fire button, or uh, the coordinating button first to start the power bar, and then try and stop it between the two brackets. The the the, uh, the crowd is animated there. They're waving flags. What's that? What's that red and blue flag? That's none none of us lot. Don't know what flag that is. Someone's gone to the wrong game. The whites versus the greens. Oh man, there's a lot of crunching sounds in this one. I'm glad Speedball 2 wasn't isometric, that'd be a bit tricky. It's quite a few players here to try and get your head round, so the the, uh, the console is doing quite a lot here. Mm. I wish it was a cheat mode, I can say, bring on someone ten times bigger. Robocop, or Batman, or 4, or someone like that. They wouldn't mess with 4. Marvel Rugby, that'd be a good old, good old, good old one. Boof, boof it, boof it, big nose. Uh, right, I'm just trying to stop them now. Uh, uh, the tackling's okay by me. That's the okay. case. Just the, just the passing. I seem to be running forward. I need to pass it backwards, maybe. Pass it backwards. Guy do a kick, win a scrum, uh, uh, and then uh, come out. See, they they got the right idea. Just kicking it there for a line out. Crowd like that. There's a guy that keeps getting up and down in the crowd, dressed in yellow. Maybe he's he's got a seat with an electrical fault that keeps buzzing through. If you're sitting on a seat that's got an electrical fault and you have to keep standing up because you get electric shock, you bottom, they can comment in the comment section below. Yeah, yeah man, yeah man, indeedy. You know you don't you don't get sensible conversation from this channel. Some people always say, get the occasion points. Why don't you read the instructions properly? Well, you've missed the point. You missed the point. It's the case that you've got the game. You might have briefly read the instructions. Someone might have lent you the, the disc or the, the cartridge without the instructions. Or in the Spectrum and Commodore 64 stuff. You might have seen it on the C90 tape and there were no instructions. It's about seeing the wonder of your first ever go. You're playing it as the kid rather than the adult uh, with a big book of rules shaking their head in the background. We're just having the fun. We're just having the fun of the game. Was there enough to entice us to come back? And this one, I don't think I would have come back to be honest with you because I went into rugby a great deal, so it's no um, disparity on the game. Uh, so I wouldn't come back. It's, I can see it's clever. Pick one rugby would have come back, I think. I'm not sure what the scores were back in the day on this. I think they would have been quite kind to the thing. It's back in the day where EA didn't kill everything with uh, microtransactions and DLCs and releasing an incomplete game on purpose so they can make money uh, later on with other bits. Crunch it! Oh god. We will just play one game with this but if you're playing it uh, let me know how you got on with the World Cup 95, the full game. It's quite obvious I would have lost all the games in that uh, league. Is that game over? I won't play an attention. Full time. Full time for us. That's, that's a game of rugby. I lost 19 nil. That'd be quite embarrassing if it happened in real life. Nil points. At least it wasn't nil nil. That's a, that's a rarity in rugby. I don't think that that should ever happen again. So yeah, I, I, I thought the game was okay, but as I say, I wouldn't have gone back to it. A great uh, deal there. Be interesting to see what the 20 countries are like. You can go through there. So that's the that's the main uh, thing for you. Uh, let's just have a look at the the teams. You got Fiji, France, Germany, Ireland, Italy. Ivory Coast, probably play them. Japan, Latvia, Morocco, Namibia, Netherlands. So you could have an easier go of it. New Zealand, they're good. Portugal, I didn't even know they played. Romania, Russia, Scotland, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, Tonga, Uruguay, United States, Wales, Western Samoa, Zimbabwe. Oh, Barbet, who are they? The, oh, look, that's sort of like made up teams. Argentina, Australia, Canada. So all in alphabetical order, and that's all the teams. So, hope you like to have a look at that game. Not bad. Uh, Rugby World Cup on the Sega Genesis on Mega Drive by EA in 1994. If you want to contact out this game, similar games, or anything retro, then by all means stick that in the comment section below. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. goodbye. Rugby was invented when some person playing football picked up the ball and run with it, and everyone thought well, that's a jolly good idea. Let's make the ball an odd shape to make it difficult for them. I think. I don't. I wasn't there. I'm paraphrasing.